Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you, in my opinion, the best setup for games and all your programs on your TI-84 Plus CE. Um, this took me all school year probably to figure out what worked best for me. And again, this might not work, work with you, but here's just my thing if you want to go and work with it and try and mix things up. So let's go ahead and get started. So. First off, I'd go ahead and watch my games, how to get games tutorial. I'll leave a link to that in the description and I'll try and put a card up somewhere in the video. So in that tutorial, we know that I give you the shell cesium. So cesium is pretty much, I really like cesium. Um, it's sleek, it's soft, and it shows everything you need. And yeah, it works, works just like a charm, shows you storage and everything. I don't have any programs here right now but I've just installed cesium. So uh, cesium is pretty customizable, but there are me I want to let you know that there are other uh, shells. These are, they're called shells that are out there. So let me go ahead and show you them. So there's multiple shells that you can use for your calculator. Um, the most popular ones being like cesium. However, today I'm going to be uh, explaining to you um, three of them. So, and those three are Vision, Seashell, and ASM Hook. So, unfortunately, only uh, Seashell is being able to work on the simulator at the moment. So, but don't worry, I will leave the download link and the website all down in the description. So, Seashell is pretty similar to Cesium. It's, um, it's one of my favorites just because it's really simple, but has so much versatility and so much use. Uh, Vision kind of has the Windows desktop -y feel, so like uh, your programs are arranged in like icons and you can move the arrow keys with like, uh, and it looks like a mouse arrow moving across the screen. So it was, a, it was really creative and I really enjoy using it. And then ASM Hook is really simple, really m minimalistic, and it just runs your games for you. So Seashell, let's get started. So um, you'll see that um, folders and uh, programs, which we'll get to in a minute, I don't have any. Uh, for some reason, I should have gotten some, but they're arranged horizontally and they'll go uh, from left to right. And by using the F1 through F5 keys on the top of your uh, keypad, you can um, press them to do different things. So Windows, Zoom, and Trace will all be for the middle ones. Like for information, we could press Windows, Zoom, and Trace. So information on the thing. All right, that doesn't work. With full. All okay. It'll it'll all make sense. Trust me. Um, but uh, on the left one, so y equals, um, this is the design one. So if we click that right here, we can uh, pick our transitions, uh, put this on slow, uh, 24 hour clock, we can hide it. Um, there's also uh, custom themes and preset themes, like you can change like, like right here, we can change like the colors. There we go. And then here you can pick like which folders you want to show, so like whether you want to show and the folders are uh, are these right here, the apps and app bars folder. I don't, you know, I don't really like this preset. Again, you can you can also do a custom preset as well right here, but uh, I don't I don't have time for for my artistic uh, artistic skills. Um, yeah, and then on the right over here, so the graph key, this has settings like uh, these are like the um, all. Tons of stuff you can read about, but I highly recommend you have the on short keys on. So like if you press and hold on and then press one of the keys, um, you have a lot of things. Like you can, um, like you, like there's dark mode right there for you. Boom, uh, dark mode is on, press and hold on and then store. So yeah, and one of my favorites has to be lowercase. So if you turn this on and then we can return to normal TIOS, and if you double click, if you double uh, click alpha, then we get the lowercase. So now we can do lowercase letters, and that's just hugely that was hugely helpful for for me, and that was a game changer for me, because then you're not always typing in like all cap letters. Instead, you can do like lowercase letters as well. Nope. What? Am I not? Oh, I'm not clicking it right. There. That was a bad. No, that took too long. But yeah. So um, 
I say let's go go ahead and get into programs. Yeah, so this awesome website, Chemitech, and this page, which I will leave down in the description, has loads upon loads of games. Almost all of them are submitted here first before the one I showed you in the other tutorial. I think this is actually a little better. And it has all your games, um, and you can sort them by like uh, most relevant or like most downloads. Man, Pac-Man. Pac-Man's crazy. Dang. Um, but one thing that I will advise you to do is do not, please, do not just stop, get to the end of the first page uh, right here, and then just stop. Go to that next page. I found so many awesome games, like look, Plague Inc. right here, right on top. Um, so many, so much stuff that I missed. Uh, oh my god, there's Hailstorm. Um, uh, there's Tower Defense. Like, look, um, yeah, please look at all the pages. Um, trust me, we'll be happy. Look, here's Celeste. Um, lots and lots and lots of stuff. So, yeah, um, I'll leave this down. And um, now I'm going to show you my personal setup of what games I like to keep on my calculator. All right, so before we get games installed, I want to talk just a little bit about storage because you're going to have a lot of games. You're going to have a lot of programs and shells and all this stuff. So you want to make sure you have enough room and make sure that the calculator can perform the certain tasks it needs to. So a good way to access the memory is hitting the second key and then the plus key. That'll bring up memory. And then going down to number two, uh, memory management and delete like a ton of other stuff. So from here, um, if we go to all, we have access to all of our programs. And yes, I, I just got the programs uh, in. Our programs, our app vars, our apps, our everything. So yeah, um, this is it right here. But I want you guys to understand really quickly that there are two like s places where something can be stored, the RAM or the archive. So the RAM is pretty much where something can be actively used, right? Um, whereas the archive cannot be used and it's kind of like stowed away. However, the archive is actually way better than you actually might think because if something is archived, um, and we and the calculator were to like get a RAM crash or reset, the something that's archived will still be there, and anything that's in the RAM will not be. And check this out. Um, uh, what do you call it? Here you go. So um, here it shows how much RAM free and how much archive is free. Look at how much more archive we have than RAM. Plus, I already have, um, and that's including all of my programs. We still have so much room to spare. And by the way, these are um, these are bytes, by the way, not like uh, megabytes and definitely not gigabytes. Um, yeah, so what do you call it? Yeah, I'd go ahead and archive everything and you can do that by just um, going down to that uh, manage memory and then you can like click enter on anything, on any program or anything to archive it. And if it has a multiplication dot right there, then uh, it's archived and you're good to go. Yeah, so um, now let me show you uh, all the games I got. Alrighty, let's open up uh, Seashell and let me show you what I got. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna give you a quick overview. I have uh, uh, I have Celeste um, right here. I have Chess, uh, Dino Run, Donkey Kong, Flappy Bird. Um, this is a cool math program that you can actually check out on my channel. Why don't you guys, you guys should check that out. Uh, we have Geometry Dash, we have Mario, Pac-Man, The Oregon Trail, uh, that's another cool math program you guys should check out, and T.I. Boy C.E., which is a Game Boy, and I also have a video on, the, on that too, so you guys should check that out, how to get any Game Boy game, and Waver. So I'm just going to explain to a few of you uh, why I like this. So Celeste is pretty self-explanatory, and I do not have my libraries. All right, take two. We nailed it. So uh, Celeste is, well, Celeste, I guess. Um, yeah, you can, uh, oh, how, am I, how am I supposed to play this? Um, oh, that, that works well. There you go. Wait, how, which key is alpha? Which key is alpha? What? Okay. Um, but yeah, um, it's really fun. I like it a lot. Um, I actually uh, discovered this pretty recently, and uh, I've just been enjoying it a lot. So yeah, I highly recommend uh, you check Celeste out. 
And um, next up we have uh, Classic Chess. Um, this is a really, this was really cool. Um, so you go down to the game setup. You can uh, play versus, uh, you can play versus uh, the AI, which is actually pretty good considering I suck. Um, calc for calc versus calc, I think it's a bug. I'm not too sure because I kind of got just like stuck. And then you can play like human versus human. So you can play like with your classmate or with a friend. So yeah. Um, Next up is Dino Run. Uh, that's pretty self-explanatory. It's just, just Dino Run. Um, up arrow, you know. Yeah, fun stuff. Then there's Donkey Kong. Um, Donkey Kong is definitely one of my favorites. It's really fun, and even though the levels repeat themselves, it's a, it's a real, it's a classic, for like, for real life and calculator gaming life. Yeah. Um, this is definitely a must-have. I'll put that on the board. These are all kind of must-haves. I play these all the time. And uh, then there's Flappy Bird. Uh, pretty simple, but a little a little challenging for some reason, I think. I don't know why. Um, what's next? Uh, Geometry Dash. Uh, definitely another another really good one. So um, second is Jump. And here we go. They, okay, they're not. They don't look that triangular on this. This shell is. They they look. It's literally like you're playing on the actual foot. Like I'm being serious. Uh yeah, this is definitely. Uh yeah, it was, it's a really fun game. Geometry Dash. Ooh Mario. This has kept me busy for so long. And why am I always missing my stuff? Yeah. So um, sadly, I don't think I the app bars aren't working for me today. And um. Uh, but yeah, trust me, I don't really have to explain this. Um, this is like the only reason I'm letting it fly. This is obviously a must have. Uh, classic Mario on the calculator, always a must have, and it's always been. I've had this day one, and I've it's been so hard to put this down. Uh, really, really enjoy this. So, moving on, Oregon Trail. Uh, pretty, uh, pretty similar to the normal thing. It has it has its differences. Uh, it has its differences, um, but uh, yeah, um, it's 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 fun. Um, it, it is hard though. It is hard. I'll give you guys that. That's the only reason I'm a little hesitant. And now, uh, Pac-Man, the most famous. Um, what what else is there really to explain? An another must-have. And um, then uh, Ti Boy C. I actually don't have. I, I don't have a a ROM. Uh, uh oh, that that's not good. That that's not good. Well, shucks, I guess. Um, it shame on you, cause you guys haven't watched. Uh, if you haven't watched my Game Boy video, shame on you. Go watch that one and figure out what it is. It's a Game Boy. That that little icon right there. That's a Game Boy right there. Yeah, so cool. And then waiver. This is uh. This has been, I've, I've been enjoying Waver a lot. Um, it's really fun, it's kinda like, um, you know in Geometry Dash it has like that, uh, what do you call it? Um, the, the little arrow part where you have to like tap and it like leaves a line. Uh, it, it'll make sense, I might be looking like a complete fool right now. But um, it's, uh, you can change the colors to this thing. Um, uh, what's a good one? Uh, oh, that looks cool. Oh, I always used to just play with the standard colors. So yeah, if you uh, press the arrow keys, um, you can like kind of just move this line. And it seems pretty obvious, but uh, your goal is to like avoid the uh, the little like uh, the walls right there. Uh, let me show it right there where my mouse is. Those little walls, and avoid the ceilings, of course. And then these little bars um, will like do something uh, like flip gravity in that case. Um, do a ton of weird stuff, but it's it's really fun. Once the high, once the speed picks up, um, it's a it's it's really enjoyable. So yeah, this one this one uh entered uh the Hall of Fame of games for the calculator. Yeah, this is a really fun one, and I'm not showing every single game that I like because of uh because of storage issues and time issues, but please promise me you guys will look at the at the Chemitech website. And that art on the uh, uh, 
that page with uh, uh, all the games because you guys are going to find something y'all really going to like and trust me yeah I'm telling you now look I'm serious but yeah uh, that's all I have in store for you guys um, thank you guys for watching and uh, have a great rest of your day